You know, I've often been quoted as saying there's a lot of moe shit this season, but that's not due to a dislike of the aesthetic. I look around at the stuff that I'm keeping up with this season, and it's all moe as shit, bruh. Moe is everywhere, it's inescapable, and has been around since time and measurable. But moe as a concept can be kind of hard to pin down. It can generally be described as a emotional response or a feeling of affection, but after that, nobody can really agree. I describe it as a tool, just like fan service, flashy action scenes, swelling music, and plot twists are all tools. And just like any other tool, it can be used both well and poorly. When moe is used well, it can quickly endure you to the characters and get you to relate to and root for the cast. When it is used poorly, it is actively unappealing annoying, and worst of all, boring. Couple that with the tirade of Moe Bob shows that come out every season, nothing can stand out, and it's not hard to see where the distaste comes from. Which is why I wanted to take some time, put aside my namesake genre for now, and showcase just what cute girls doing cute things are capable of. For May is the merry month of Moe. I don't have any title sequence for this, so without any further ado, the first show on the docket is Lucky Star. Kyo and had to be in here somewhere. They've become the absolute kings of the Moe world, and this show was present at the large surge of Moe back in 2007, the year the North American anime bubble burst, and anime became more insular and less catered to the international audience. It's also one of the most distilled. While most Moe shows have some hook, some interesting concept, some shared hobby, some thing, Lucky Star has none of that. Just cute high school girls hanging out and talking. Just talking? Well, what's the show about? It's about nothing. <laughs> no story? No, forget the story. You gotta have a story. Who says you gotta have a story? So we go into NBC, we tell them we got an idea for a show about nothing. Exactly. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. I think you may have something here. Yep, Lucky Star is an essence anime Seinfeld. Like the sitcom, the main draw is tons upon tons of observational comedy. Any given scene starts with familiar phrases such as, don't you hate it when, or isn't it funny how. The Moe designs here are used to draw you in, get you to open up and relate to the characters, and especially to get you to laugh, saying I know exactly what she means, like waking up late or having trouble studying, and of course, which end of a chocolate cornet is the head. The characters they want you to relate to include Konita, the avid otaku with the mind of an old man, Kagami, the booksmart straight man with tsundere tendencies, Tsukasa, her meek twin sister, and Miyuki, the mature, knowledgeable girl with several enduring faults. Those aren't called faults, people call those moe points! Huh? Moe points? Clumsy is sexy. Plus a bunch more, each with their own quirks and traits. My favorite characters are the hosts of the Lucky Star segment, one of which is introduced to us as this disgustingly cutesy idol, but it's not long before she drops the veneer and underneath is this washed up child actress. It was such a perfect and surprising switch that had me rolling on the floor. Konata being an otaku allows for the show's other main source of comedy, referential humor. Other well-known Katakawa shows are frequently mentioned, Sergeant Frog, Full Mouth Panic, and especially Haruhi Suzumiya, but some other references would require a Class 5 otaku license just to decipher. And if you like the real-life people being represented in Shirobako, Lucky Star has you covered, mostly voice actors that are playing humorous versions of themselves. What I like most about Lucky Star, besides the great comedic timing or nerdy references, is the natural conversations. There's somehow this realism to the dialogue that causes you to think, oh, I've been there, or to get second-hand embarrassment for the characters. Lucky Star is this excellent comedy that uses its cute girls to great effect, and sometimes that's all you need. I hope you all enjoyed this first installment in the month of Moe. I'll be back next week with another series that has a much smaller and more intimate cast, and that also exemplifies some of the more controversial aspects of Moe to be continued until then.